guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have literally the biggest haul video for you guys today. It's kind of like fall cozy themed. I literally ordered so much stuff online for kind of like back to school, but like loungewear, you know, comfy and nice for fall and winter. So that's kind of what this haul is based around. So I got stuff from Airy. Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, and Francesca's. I also got something from Fashion Nova, but it hasn't came in yet, so I'll probably show that like way at the end of this video when it does actually come in the mail. But yeah, I got some Airy slash American Eagle, Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, and Francesca's. Um, I also ordered some stuff from Skims. <sighs> I am so excited for that. Half the package came in, but I'm still waiting on some other things. But I'm going to make that into a separate uh, video because I feel like it's just better off on its own. It's literally Skims, Kim Kardashian is just so iconic. I'd rather just have it as its own video. So for today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys everything else that I got that's not Skims related. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First, before I go into anything also, I got two Bath & Body Works coupons in the mail, so... I'm trying to not spend so much money on Bath & Body Works, so I might maybe like give those to my friends or something like that, or maybe like a couple days before they expire, I'll like post them on like my TikTok or something like that. I did that with some of my Victoria's Secret coupons that like I had coming up that were expiring a little, like a couple months ago. I, I have two Victoria's Secret like fall coupons too. Um, I don't know if I'll use those or not, but if they do come close to expiring and I haven't used them, Go check out my TikTok because I definitely will probably be posting those codes. Because, girl, I do not let any coupon go to waste ever. I at least need somebody to use it. But, so, yeah, I got those coupons. But now, let's actually get into what I got. So, first what I'm going to do is go into the American Eagle stuff that I got. I stacked it all in, like, a Bath & Body Works box. And all of the American Eagle slash Airy stuff is, like, on top of it. So, I'm just going to go into those first. So first oh it is not a cozy fall or winter season without a nice cozy blanket i do have quite the amount of blankets already but this one is like nice and plush i don't have a blanket that's like this so this was called the airy faux fur blanket this retailed for $44.95 but i did end up paying only $35.95 because i had some like $30 off per Girl, chill. So this is called the Airy Faux Fur Blanket. And as you can see, it's in this like tiger print and it's so, so fluffy. Um, I don't want to take it out of the packaging just yet because I need, I want it for like a thumbnail. Okay, that's my dog. She's like freaking out right now. Oh, do you want to see the blanket? Can you see her? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like the blanket? But so yeah, this feels so, so soft. And I do remember looking at it online and my boyfriend was like, oh my god, you better keep that at my house. And I was like, no. But I might actually do that and I can use that while I'm there. But I want to keep this at home. It's so, so fluffy. Like this actually feels a lot more fluffy than what I was expecting. Um, and it, it does feel like pretty heavy, like just holding it feels really, really heavy. Um, there was some reviews under it that's, that said that like, it's pretty it's really comforting and it does have a nice weight to it um and i can definitely confirm that it feels really really nice um this is only like 50 by 60 inches though so it, it doesn't really cover like everything it's just kind of one of those like throw blankets for when you're getting a little chill you just throw it on um but it does feel so so soft it feels like an actual like cloud it feels so so soft I do like the design as well. I do not mind the tiger print. I wish the gray and white one was still in stock, but I'm not mad at like the tan tiger print. So yeah, it feels really, really nice guys. I definitely, like if this holds up, like depending on how long it lasts me, it feels really nice. So I would say it's worth the money, but hopefully this lasts a while. Like hopefully it washes well and all that kind of stuff, which I can't really confirm now but it does feel really, really nice. Oh my God. As you can see, this has the cutest Snoopy pumpkin leaves theme going on. So, so cute. And let me show you guys. So it is actually like these waffle pajamas 
and this is the like long sleeve top to it and then it comes with the shorts as well um they come together not separate um it is called the ae peanuts plush waffle pj set it retails for $59.95, but I paid $47.95 once again because of that like $30 off or $120 coupon, whatever the heck I had. But yeah, it, it does feel pretty soft for it being like a waffle like style. There are so many like waffle shirts out there that are just so not like comfortable. They feel really like rough. This one actually feels really, really soft and stretchy and it does have a nice stretchy waistband as well. Um, I will show you guys what it looks like on me. I believe that I, yeah, I got it in a size small, um, which is my usual size. I'm 5'5", 120 pounds for reference. I have a 27 inch waist. Um, so I will show you guys what it looks like on and, but it feels really, really soft in my hands. But once again, I'll show you guys what it looks like on me to confirm if the sizing is accurate. <laughs> I have been wanting this for so long. I was waiting for it to go on sale, but I just could not wait any longer. This is the Airy Rock and Ruffle plaid skirt. It retailed for $44.95, but I only paid $35.95 once again because of that coupon that I had. Um, I did get this in a medium because they ran out of smalls, so I just went with a medium. Usually that doesn't make much of a difference on me, but I will show you guys what it looks like on in a second, but I really just love the style of this. It's giving me some like 90s vibes a little bit. I have this like white sweatshirt that I feel like could look really nice with it. Um, it is, uh, I feel like it's more tailored to wear during like spring or summer, but I feel like you could get away with some of those like warmer fall days, like, like early or late September or like early October when it's still a little bit warmer out. Um, so yeah, the skirt's really, really cute and I'll show you guys what it looks like on. Okay, so that's it for all of the American Eagle or Airy stuff that I have. Next, I'm just gonna go into the one Francesca's item that I got. So I went to the outlets in Delaware with my family. My grandparents own like a beach house uh, down in Delaware and there's some outlets nearby. And this is the only thing that I got while I was there. Um, we went into Francesca's and I got this really, really cute fall shimmery like sweater. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in it but it looks so, so cute. It's literally perfect for fall. It has some cute trimming on the neckline as well as the, the wrist. I just thought this looked so cute. This could go really good with leggings or even jeans. You could really dress this up or down if you wanted to. So that's the reason why I got it. They didn't have a small, so I got a medium instead. I'm seeing that the company is June and Ivy. So yeah, that's that. I love the cut that it has. It kind of like cuts by like your boobs and then it's like really tight at the end. And I will show you guys what this looks like on. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the Victoria's Secret stuff that I got. So it did come with a $20 off a $60 purchase fall reward card that I'm probably not going to use. That's literally like the second one that I have for the season. But I also got one of those like perfume samplers and like teas. That's really cool. I want to smell it. Tea smells actually really good. I've never tried it before. That actually smells really good. And then this one is the tea cream cloud. Wow, that's like really sweet. Yeah, this one smells like really sweet. It's definitely not me, um, but Victoria's Secret tea smells really, really nice. Um, Maybe one day I'll get it, who knows. I'm not really 
I'm like whatever about it right now. I'm not in the mood to buy any more perfumes. I have so many perfumes and stuff that I just need to use before I really get anything more. I do want to post more like fragrance and perfume reviews. Um, so stay tuned for those. I literally have so many like Bath and Body Works stuff and I have so many just different perfumes especially from Victoria's Secret so I want to do more reviews on those before I buy anything else I really just need to use up what I have right now but I did get a couple more Bath and Body Works fragrances though so could not resist but back into the Victoria's Secret stuff so let me just get this out of the way I did actually get the rose water oil that's like new uh to Victoria's Secret pink um it says it has vegan collagen in it as well i don't know if you can read that but girl this smells amazing like it literally smells like authentic to like a rose it smells absolutely amazing i wish they had like a body mist of this but i can just use the rose uh body mist from bath and body works to pair with it so I do have a little bit of a combo going, but this smells so, so good, guys. I'm, like, so happy I got it. I can't, there's, like, a scrub, too, and stuff, but I don't really need any more scrubs. Um, so I just got the body oil. I didn't really need a lotion, either, because I'm getting oil. I don't really need a lotion. Um, but, yeah, I want to pair that with the Bath & Body Works Rose Body Mist, so, yeah. But, okay, now, actually, into, like, the clothes. Oh, do you see this? Oh, my God. It is a velour bodysuit from Victoria's Secret. It feels so soft, you guys. Like, oh my god. It literally feels like a blanket. Not as soft as the airy blanket, though. But super, super soft. Um, I wish that it had the same material on the outside as the inside. Um, it's not the same material at all. The outside is really, like, fluffy velour. But, like, the inside is, like, kind of just like one of those, like, nylon kind of materials it's not the softest but it doesn't feel terrible not like scratchy just i wish it was that velour material as the outside but this is called the velour jumpsuits and this retailed for 69.50 but i got it on clearance girl for 29.99 so that was an actual steal um what size did i get this in so i did actually get this in my size which is a small so this should fit me perfectly. See, as you can see, it has like a cross in the front, but is cinched at the waist. And then it has like these jogger ends right here. Um, so I am hoping that it fits nicely on me, pretty like literally exactly like the model. I'm hoping it fits like that. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys what it looks like on. <laughs> I got a Victoria's Secret pink uh, t-shirt as you can see but girl the reason why I got it is because of the back the back is so pretty I love the shine and the rhinestones to it I absolutely love it so it is called the everyday crew tee from Victoria's Secret pink I did pay full price for this which is $36.95 which is kind of ridiculous but I really wanted it and I was getting a lot of stuff from Victoria's Secret anyway, so I just decided to get it anyway. But this should fit pretty nice on me because I did get it in a small, which is my normal size. I didn't want it to be like loose. I really want it to be more of like a tighter fit. So on that note, I will show you guys what it looks like on. Okay, so the last two things are still from Victoria's Secret, but they're from For Love and Lemons. I absolutely love that brand. I have bought so many For Love and Lemons stuff from Victoria's Secret. Like, literally, I just fell in love with the brand. I hate how expensive it is, but when you can get it on clearance, it's really not that bad. Um, so yeah, so if you're buying anything from For Love and Lemons, definitely try to get it from Victoria's Secret because I feel like they put more stuff on clearance. Um, I have checked out their actual website a couple of times and I feel like that there's just more stuff on clearance when it's on Victoria's Secret website versus their actual For Love and Lemons website. But on that note, I did decide to get this cardigan. I actually already bought it in a black color and I did get that in a small. Um, but this time I decided to get it in white and it is in an extra small, but it was on clearance. 
So this is called the Billy Long Sleeve Cardigan. It retailed for $89, but it was on clearance for $34.99, which is like literally a steal, especially for the quality. It It's literally so good. Like I already have it in black. I know that it's really, really nice quality already. So that's why I did decide to get it in a white color. They also had it in the color pink, but I'm pretty sure it didn't have like my size. I think the only size that they had left was like a large or something like that, which I definitely don't fit into. Um, but I can get away with like an extra small or a medium if they don't have a small in stock. Um, but that's what I did here. I did get it in an extra small because I didn't have a small left in stock in the white color. I'm pretty sure that they still have a lot left in stock for the black color though. Um, so if you are interested in getting it, uh, they do still have it in black and I think pink as well. But I think it's sold out in the white now. But you guys, I am just so in love with this. Like this is literally just comfy fall at its finest. Like, you absolutely need a really soft cardigan for fall and winter. Um, I love how it's, like, buttoned up, but it's a really low v-neck. So it's really comfortable to wear to bed. I have worn the black one to bed a lot, and it's just so, so soft. So I expect the exact same out of this white one. And it does come with, like, an extra button, too. Um, so yeah. So if you do lose a button here, there's an extra one. But I will show you guys what this actually looks like on me. <laughs> the clothes and from Victoria's Secret I did get a four love and lemons cardigan once again but it's not like knit as the other one it's it's actually like way more thick as you can see and it has like lace trimming it is pretty similar just because of like the buttons like where it's located and it does have that v-neck but it is completely different I love the little branding in the back so so cute but I also have this in a white color, but I did decide to get it in black because it was also on clearance. Um, so this is called the Nina Cardigan. It retails for $79, but I got it on clearance for $22.99. So yeah, talk about a steal. I wish I paid that amount for the white one, but that's okay because I got this one on clearance. And I wore that white Nina Cardigan so many times it is literally in my regular rotation of clothes so I expect the same for this black one as well it just fits me super super nicely and I'm pretty sure that I got it in my normal size yeah I got it in a size small so I already know this is just gonna fit me just fine so yeah but I will show you guys what it actually looks like on me So that's it for the clothes now it's time to go into all the bath and body work stuff that i got and of course it's all fall themed so let's get right into it okay so i just have to start with the bakery collection candles that i got here is pumpkin cinnamon bun um the send outs are warm cinnamon roll pumpkin spice and vanilla frosting i love the bakery collection packaging and i love that color wax like a nice orange uh perfect for that pumpkin vibe and you guys this smells like literally amazing it literally smells like cinnamon frosting it smells absolutely amazing i would definitely recommend this one it smells so good and you guys i decided to go a little ham and i got two pumpkin snickerdoodles and i do not regret it it smells amazing the scent outs are warm sugar cookies ground cinnamon fresh nutmeg and sprinkled with sugar this is just amazing it smells like cinnamon sugar cookies like it smells so good you guys i cannot say enough about it um and i do like the wax color as well it's like a nice sugar cookie yellow kind of color um yeah this smells absolutely amazing i love the theme of it um this one does have the white lid for some reason the pumpkin cinnamon bun didn't have the white lid but these do and also the pumpkin cupcake one that i got has a white lid as well so i'll show you guys that one next so here is the pumpkin cupcake one i have been waiting for this one to come back out because i only have one pumpkin cupcake candle in my collection 
so I was absolutely hyped to get a second one. These scents are whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcake. This just smells amazing. Like, oh my god, like it literally smells so authentic to like a pumpkin cupcake, but also like the frosting. This smells so good. Quite honestly, I like the pumpkin cupcake uh, packaging from last year better. I'll show you guys that like right now. I have it right here. So this is the pumpkin cupcake candle from last year. And then this is the one from this year. I like this one a lot better just because it's like pink and I love how it's like a wraparound. Well, this one is just like the front of it. Um, but they're both really cute. Um, but I wish it was more like this one because like, girl, this one is so cute. And it's like shiny too. Honestly, I'm probably just going to keep this in my collection, just keep it as like a collector kind of candle, but this one will actually burn. Um, but you guys, it smells amazing. Pumpkin cupcake you cannot go wrong with. So next, I got a free white pumpkin candle because there's some like uh, coupon code that was there that day to where you got a free white pumpkin, uh, white pumpkin candle and I'm pretty sure free shipping as well. I don't quite exactly remember, but I know that I got this one for free. But the scents are gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. And this just smells so like fall. It's so weird. Like it literally smells like that spicy scent that you get when like you walk into like a craft store from like Michael's in the fall. Like I know that sounds so weird, but like I swear when I, when I walk into like Hobby Lobby or like Michael's in the fall time like it's literally what it smells like is that weird like like I don't know it's it, it smells like a lot of pumpkin spices is pretty much what I can sum it up to but I really like that scent it really reminds me of fall and then the last three wood candle that I got is autumn I read the scent notes when I was perusing through the website and it seemed like another one of those like nice masculine fall type of scents um, the scent notes are bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. Anything with balsam or pine in it, I absolutely love. So, yeah, this smells really good. Like, this is one that I could give to my boyfriend and he'd love it. It doesn't smell, like, totally masculine. But, like, a little bit. Just a little bit. It's mostly, like, that red gala apple, in my opinion. But if it were to give this to my boyfriend, he would definitely like the scent. And then lastly for the candles, I got two single wick hot cocoa and creams. I wish they had this in a three wick right now, uh, but they only had single wicks, but I was like, whatever, I'll just get two of them. I don't have the scent notes right in front of me, but girl, you don't even need the scent notes to know that this smells amazing and authentic to like a real like cup of hot chocolate. Cause this is just amazing. Like it literally smells like a cup of milk hot chocolate. It smells so, so good. Um, I do still have a single wood candle left of it from Christmas, um, from 2020, but, girl, I, I need, like, a million backups of these, honestly. But I do believe that they're releasing, like, a three wood candle of hot cocoa and cream for, like, Christmas, so maybe I'll just get it then. But lastly, what I have is these three full size body mists. They were only doing the buy to get one free, I believe, so that is what- no, 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 they weren't. They were doing the- I forget what- I forget what sale what they did, but what I did was I got two for free because I had a reward and then I just paid full price for one of them. I, I forget how it was between the three, but that's what I did. I'm just going to go right into Ivory Cashmere for a second because I've been dying to get my hands on this one. The scent notes is Fresh Lakeside Air, Silver Musk, and White Amber. And you guys, highly, highly anticipated and it smells so good. Like, I really wanted this to be some, like, really sophisticated scent because I noticed that, like, it was called Ivory Cashmere and it, like, the packaging just looks really sophisticated. So that was kind of the vibe that I was expecting. And it fits the vibe by far. It's, like, a really fresh, but, like, a little warm amber kind of scent. And it definitely fits the vibe of, like, cashmere. Like, I don't know, I can't even, like, explain it. Like, it's like a nice, dry, fresh, but like amber kind of scent. Like, I don't even know. It sounds so weird, but like, it smells amazing. Like, literally, this is going to be one of my go-to scents. You guys know, if I put a fragrance up there, I wear it like really often. And that is exactly where I'm going to put this one because it smells so good. And the next thing I'm going to go into Bonfire Bash. Someone actually recommended for me to get it, so that's why I actually did. 
Um, the scent notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. So it does have cashmere in it, so I am expecting something good out of it. I haven't really tried it yet. Like, I tried it really quick, but I don't even remember what it smelled like. Hmm. It's like a really sweet and a little woody kind of scent. It's actually not that bad. Like, it kind of does remind me of, like, a campfire in a, in a bit of a way. Like, it smells like... It's like a woody but, like, sweet kind of scent. Like, it's really interesting. Uh, I definitely won't be wearing this every day. But this definitely is, like, really, really different. So, I do like it. And then, lastly, crisp morning air. I never expected to have a crisp morning air body care. But, here we are. Um, the scent notes are crisp fall breeze, golden amberwood, and juicy apple. I love crisp morning air and the candle. So I was like, why not get it in the body mist, I guess. I'm expecting for it to smell a little bit unisex, on a, like a bit of a way, a little bit more masculine than what I would usually choose. But it's actually just mostly like that apple kind of scent. Yeah, like juicy apple. It's like a fresh apple kind of scent. I don't hate it. I'm really, really picky with scents that have apple in it. And this one does pass that check. <laughs> it definitely is not terrible. It actually smells really nice. This is definitely a good scent. It's one like you're just getting out of the shower and it's like a little bit of fall time, it's a little breezy outside, a little cool outside. This is the perfect scent to put on. Yeah, I actually don't hate this one, so honestly, it's a check in my book. But Ivory Cashmere was like literally the holy grail. So yeah, oh my god, that is it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. So much good stuff in this video, but stay tuned for my Skims haul because you're definitely going to want to see that one. I got so much stuff from Skims, so yeah, definitely check that one out. But for this video, that is it. I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day or night, and I hope to see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.